Hello everyone, it's me JB from Init Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to find only PDF or Word or Excel or PowerPoint files present in particular drive of Windows computer. So, without for more delay, let's begin. So, you might be thinking we can find those files using our file explorer search features right but in the file explorer search features if you search for a particular document file like pdf or word or excel then it might show all the files or folders with the name pdf so it's not a convenient way so for this what you need to do is just open any web browser and in the google search just search for one application name as bobsop document manager on the first list it will see the application just click on it now just click on this download option now here you will get two types of download option one is for installer one is for portable the portable one is the one which does not require installation and if you want to install it on your hard disk drive then you can get the installer portion so i'm gonna get the portable one you can choose any one of it so finally the file has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close this web browser so just double click it to extract this zip file Now just open the extracted folder. Now you can see the second file is the application. So just double click on it to run this software. So on opening the application for the first time, you may get this kind of pop-up meshes. But don't worry, you can just get rid of it just by clicking on continue. And you find irritating with this pop-up meshes all the time showing, then you can just buy the premium version and get rid of this pop-up meshes. So just click on continue. Now on the above, you can see your browse option. Just click on it and select your respective drive or folder where you want to do a scan so i'll just select the d drive you can select whichever drive or folder you want to choose for yourself so i have selected the d drive just to give you an example you can select a particular folder also and once you are done with your selection just click on the select and now just below to it you will get some more options like include subfolders calculate the file size so icons hide initial part hide file extensions so i'll just enable this one more option just to give you an example, you can just enable or disable these options as per your needs. And below you will see a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, all files and even there is a custom option. So let us check one by one. So if I click on this Word, so it will automatically scan all the Word files present on my respective drive which I have selected or folder. So you can see here, you can directly access it just by clicking on it. And let us click on this Excel and so you can see here all the excel files will be shown here and let us click the powerpoint so there is a powerpoint only single file let us click on the pdf so here are tons of pdf files so wait for a few seconds so the scan has completed so you can see here the entire pdf files present on my respective drive and you can click on the all files also which will show different types of files so i'm not gonna click here right now and under the customize you can see here one arrow icon just click on it so you can click on edit and you can select different type of files say i just want to scan for the text file that is the txt file so i'll just add a text click on ok and just click on this customize and it will scan all the text or the txt files so wait for a few seconds so finally the scan has been completed so now you can see i have tons of text files so by clicking on each of this option you can easily categorize or find out only pdf or word or excel or powerpoint or including the text file also you can easily find the particular files present in particular drive of windows computer very easily so if you never known about a school application then you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching